It's a pleasure to be here at TCTS. How are you both, gentlemen? Very good, Dina. Thank you. Really good. Excellent. Um, now, as the industry gears up for uh, 5G, how is uh, Tata Communications Transformation Services helping in building the future telco? Um, first of all, uh, Tata Communication Transformation Services grew uh, itself out of uh, helping our own company transform. This was a decade ago. Since then, uh, we've had reasonable success globally, helping customers uh, uh, across the world transform their operations. Coming specifically to 5G, I think we're breaking it down into two chunks, uh, which is uh, readiness for 5G and then the bouquet of technologies in 5G itself. And in readiness for 5G, I think uh, what we're looking at is uh, three key steps of simplify, automate, and innovate. Uh, Arkit, do you want to expand on that a bit? So I think the way we are looking at the network uh, is from the perspective of three layers, right? So at the lowest more layer, looking at uh, high densification, right? At the middle layer, we're looking about uh, analytics. And then finally, we're looking about automation and orchestration. And what we see in the industry is where it is converging between fixed and mobile. And we'll design solutions to make in all these three layers. And coming up uh, with concepts where we can apply artificial intelligence, uh, where we can apply robotic process automation, and how we can utilize uh, big data from the perspective of driving uh, what we call as uh, high densification and uh, uh, hyper connectivity that will enable 5G. And if I could direct the next question to you first, um, in your communications, uh, sorry, conversations with telcos, uh, what are the, some of the key transformation initiatives that are emerging as a priority? So one, one of the major themes that we are uh, looking around is how we can transform them into a digital service provider. And that is becoming as a worry, one of the core themes, whether we go look into markets in Asia Pac, Middle East, Europe, or Americas. And maybe you want to add on this? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, specifically from a Europe context, uh, some of the conversations and priorities that we're having center around uh, significant automation, not just at the network layer, but also the surrounding ecosystem, because this is one of the key steps for any operator to get ready for the promise of 5G. Uh, and then this could be done in different ways, as the NFV or some of the other elements. Uh, another interesting thing that we're seeing for a lot of customers is uh, how they are looking at innovation. Uh, innovation could be at the core or it could be at the edges. And what I mean by innovation at the edges is uh, that specifically one of the promises of 5G is enabling collaboration and partner ecosystems to a scale which hasn't traditionally been possible. So yes, you have the opportunity to fail fast, but you also then have the ability to create value at these interfaces. So within this context is where we're hearing most of the conversations. Brilliant. And can you share some insights uh, on how transformation framework and approach uh, in preparing for telcos for 5G? Absolutely. I think we started uh, looking at this uh, in a very different perspective about three years ago. Uh, we partnered with one of the leading uh, consultancy companies to independently go and survey more than 60 global telcos across the world. Uh, and what we did was give them uh, just a brief of how we wanted to try and analyze uh, the, the life cycle of all of these different 60 telcos, uh, 60 plus telcos, and how they pursue or, or view their priorities on the 5G journey. And what came back was quite revealing. Uh, I think we're in the second or third year of that iteration, but to put it simply, we call it the digital transformation blueprint. Uh, what it did was uh, all these telcos were segregated into these six different segments independently, uh, I again add, uh, by this uh, consulting uh, firm. And all the CXOs and decision makers were interviewed on what their priorities were. And the range from network, OSS, BSS, down to virtualization, etc. And what's been very interesting for us is to see the shift in starting out to in-flight versus reaching maturity over the last two to three years. And there is proof enough that we can see things which were in the lab three years ago are actually hitting real world scale uh, as we speak. So that's, that's the transformation blueprint that we are actually taking to most of our customers to help them plot their own journey vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the world. And closing words, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I think as Vivek said, uh, digital transformation is the key. And one of the baseline of the digital transformation, what you call a digital deployment, which is about fiber. And that's where we are seeing a very common theme that everybody is looking to deploy fiber, right? fiber to home. 
uh, and then once you actually been able to connect all these devices uh, and go into the specific use cases of network slicing, whether it is about driverless cars uh, there, or you're talking about gaming uh, over there, or you are actually taking any kind of critical, like you're doing a surgery, right? And that's where we are seeing a common theme emerging where lots of service providers are going into this mass, mass connectivity or what we call as ultra high speed broadbands because without this there is no use case for 5G. And then once this happens, the amount of data that comes up, uh, that's where you need to build up your big data lakes. And once you build up the big data lakes and the platforms, then you have to have put analytics on top of it. And that's where the insights around artificial intelligence will come around. And once all of that framework is ready, that comes around the automation part of it. So what we see is that as TCTS, we have geared ourselves to be a very unique player in the industry. And industry recognizes that uh, from us because we are vendor neutral. Uh, we are providing services, insights to our customers, and we're creating platforms and uh, tools that enables them for a faster adoption for 5G. Lovely. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you.